are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. This is my little friend here. She always hugs me. But look what's below her. Oh! Look! <laughs> so many! Ma quanti sono? Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei. Hello, you! Look at you! Quella è diresso, è l'unico. <laughs> E sono assaliti! <ride> Adesso a Niki! Che oh, baby! Come to mommy! Come to mommy! <ride> ok, I don't want to go to Ikea anymore, I want to stay here! Oh, look! Ok, questi sono i, cani, i, i cagnolini di Scila. Scila è il cano del nostro vicino Michele. E a quanto pare ha fatto un sacco di cuccioli e noi non lo sapevamo, siamo appena tornati e non l'avevamo visto. Uno vuole venire da me. Lui non sta qua. Sì, io sono dietro il cancello perché non vogliamo che scappano via. Ma io senza altri. Ma quanti cuccioli hai fatto tu? Quanti hai fatto? <ride> Piccolini, stanno morendo di fame. Guarda il lago, i succhi no. But unfortunately we had to leave the puppies because we had an appointment at IKEA to design our new kitchen. out on a breakfast date. Elizabeth wants to take me somewhere for breakfast but she wouldn't tell me where so she's now built it up to be somewhere very exciting and I thought I better make a video just in case it is really exciting. I'm sure it isn't because it's January and pretty much everything is closed in this area but you never know with Elizabeth she comes up with all sorts of wonderful plans. Weather overcast currently eight degrees celsius. Since we have come back, the weather has been playing games with us. There's been cloudy day, sunny day, cloudy day, sunny day, cloudy day, sunny day. Elizabeth has brought me to Sorrento. Yay. Where are we going? We are going to the Radical Cafe, which is a new breakfast spot. Should be healthy, we will see. <laughs> healthy food uh, and they open in December and everything is pink okay <laughs> I'm glad I wore my pink jumper then <laughs> and while we're still in the car park let me just show you the car parks in Sorrento are all orange groves you park your cars under the orange trees and it's all rather lovely On my way home and I've just found this little baby snake on the pathway. It's moving but not very much so I'm not sure if it's ill or if it's just lazy. <laughs> What are you doing? Where do you went? The next morning we set off on a little trip along the Amalfi Coast, passing through all the villages. It is a pleasure to drive along the coast at this time of year because there's no taxis, there's no tour buses, there's no hire cars and the roads are clear and empty. We passed through Priano, Amalfi, Atrani, 
and on to Minori before stopping in Maiori. We're doing something very exciting. We're going to Vietri del Mare, where they make the ceramics. We're going to the ceramic factory that Elizabeth uses to see Antonio and choose some ceramics, some tiles for our new kitchen. We're back in the car on the ghost road. Ecco, questa strada è incredibile. Um, yeah, so we just went to see this guy who um, is obviously a mathematical genius, um, um, but very funny as well because he does all his calculation and he goes, <gasps> ah! <laughs> <laughs> so we got a load of information from him and now we are on our way to the ceramics factory. We'll have a good look around there. Sì, allora questa persona si chiama Egidio, non guarderà mai i nostri video perché non mi sembrava quel tipo di persona che guarda i nostri video, ma è davvero molto simpatico. Ha un carattere come un personaggio di un film, molto. Oh, he was like the uh, mad scientist in Back to the Future. Yeah. Apart from the hair, he had normal hair, but yeah, his <sighs> <laughs> in the first room of the ceramics factory. We don't actually need to go in any more rooms because I know what I want, but let's have a quick look around because this is just fascinating in here. So if you come around here, there's basically piles and piles of beautiful tiles. I mean, look at that, that's like a William Morris style. Wow, I mean, it's it's very stunning. Bello. No, I don't want that. I mean, that one would be quite cool, the bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it starts to get really complicated because look at all this and you just every single one is different and there's just so much choice ma questa non è una fabbrica questi sono artisti qua eh come look at these look i mean you can just go on forever how do you choose how do you decide But as some of you may not already know, I already know what I want. So that's made it much easier because last time I came here, I found that it was tucked down here on the floor and I found it. And all I have to do now is choose the exact colors. This is the tile with all the colors on it that I can use. So what I'm gonna do is take a picture of the tiles I want and then go home, I'm gonna draw it and I'm gonna use these colors to decide what colors I want to put in it. Adesso stanno arrivando il cimitero da, da 4, 5, 6, 7 anni, stanno mm, arrivando le lapide, no, no, così, fatte... Look at the size of this, it's huge! Just out of interest, I'm going to show you what the floor's like, because they've obviously used wow. all of the old tiles that they haven't needed for anything else to make the floor. And everywhere you go, it's slightly different. I like the little fishies here, look. Let's go a bit further. I mean, it just goes on and on. There's another whole room and it changes everywhere. It's fascinating. Woof. Sono che peccato quello che mi mettevo di spalto. Un momento di sorpresa, questo è il cazzo, però è bello vedere il video. 
Carlo has asked me to point out that the roof is at least 300 years old. Um, they don't do roofs like this anymore. But yes, this is a very old building and it's full of very old tiles. Antonia is now showing Carlo around the workshop. Here's some more that have been painted and they need to be glazed and then cooked. And here is the painting station. It's Saturday today, so there's nobody here, but there's all these little pots and brushes. Like looking at these are all the screen prints of the various patterns and shapes. Look, each one is different, and there's so many of them. And here, there's a couple of ovens, the kills at the end there. Okay, so I've taken a hundred photos of a hundred tiles, even though I think I know what I want. I'm now going to go home and play with them. Posto fantastico, io potevo rimanere tutti i giorni insieme a Antonio a guardare i macchinari, affascinante. Yeah, really interesting there. He was telling us ghost stories as well, so now I'm really scared. <laughs> anyway, that's the name of the factory, C-E-A-R. <laughs> um, we're going to get in the car and start heading home. We're trying to find some way to eat, obviously. It is now quarter past one, so a certain person needs to be fed. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's hard in January, but it is Saturday, so I reckon there'll be places open. Maybe if we go to Chetara. Mm -hmm. Never Let's try. Chetara. Let's go. We've got no rush to get home. Holly is with Sky today. Okay. Well, this is the Chetara Factory. We just wanted to also show you that we have got a sea view. It's behind me. So in realtà non si vede molto dal telefono, poi dopo mi avvicino e faccio. We'll go onto the beach though and walk back along the beach. Okay, adesso posso far vedere la vista. Concentration on his face. Ah, now we know the name of the restaurant. Ristorante Netuno. This is what I have to put up with. He has been staring at this picture on the wall the whole time. È davvero brutto questa dannata cosa in faccia, non la sopporto più. <ride> Speriamo che cambiano queste regole velocemente, perché sinceramente in Inghilterra sono già cambiate, niente più maschera all'esterno. In Italia dobbiamo mettere ancora la maschera. Eh, la maschera è anche più potente. Sì, questo tipo di maschera qua non è più permesso. Ci vuole una maschera più, non lo so, migliore. What I like about my Ori is this huge, long, flat promenade that I have in front of the sea. In the summer, it's lovely. Um, oh wait, at any time of year, it's lovely. It's just <laughs> flat. I think that's why I like it, because it's flat. <laughs> but it's long, and you can walk up and down, and people have bicycles here, and it's just a little bit different from Positano. Yeah, very different. Peccato che non ho portato il drone oggi. Eh, non avevo pen proprio pensato anche se adesso devo iniziare a pensare che il drone deve fare parte di ogni volta che esco e che è bello qua stavo pensando che forse ci dobbiamo trasferire a Maiori perché è flat <ride> no, il... no, non è, è proprio bellissimo cioè così è più bella ma è bello comunque no? una bellezza diversa se qualcuno dietro gli vado addosso, no? Te lo dico. I'll tell you. <laughs> the beach here is much bigger than Positano. We've just walked down halfway and look at how big it is in front of me. It's 
much, much bigger. All of that. And then all the way down there too. With this river that runs in between. And this runs right down the middle of the high street. So Carlo has now made friends. And we are trying to get back to the car <laughs> before we get a ticket on the car, but um, you know what he's like, we won't stop talking. it's another beautiful sunny day in Positano. It hasn't yeah. been like this all week. Um, yesterday was quite windy and blustery and shady but um, yeah this is a lovely day so we've come down to the beach for a walk. Yeah. See. Um, avevo un sacco di cose da dire adesso sono tutte perse. Okay ci pensiamo. Ok, dammi, dammi un po' di tempo per pensare cosa, <ride> cosa stavo per dire 5 minuti fa che adesso ho dimenticato. We came onto the scoliera because we thought we would sit down and have a chat with you. Carla's got a few things he wanted to talk about, but the waves are actually quite noisy, so I think we're going to have to move from here and go somewhere else. Um, probably somewhere just a little bit up further at the back of the beach would probably be easier. Okay, I think we have found somewhere quieter. There's a little bench under this tree up here. A lot of people are very curious to know what are you planning on doing now that you have finished working in the cemetery? A lot of people are using the word retired, but you're not retired, you're just changing careers, right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. I have a new job. I want to try to talk in, in English, but uh, in this moment I'm completely blank. <laughs> I don't have uh, words in English and prefer to uh, tell uh, this in uh, Italian. Sostanzialmente, uh, io ho già un lavoro, quindi ho lasciato uh, il lavoro al cimitero per fare un'altra cosa. Questa cosa è legata al turismo. Lavorerò per delle persone che hanno un BB. Quindi io devo fare manutenzione, devo accogliere le persone, devo fare quello che serve fare per un B&B. Ma i proprietari non vogliono una pubblicità su YouTube, quindi non vi posso fare vedere dove lavorerò e quello che farò. Quindi vi farò vedere solo il mio tempo libero, il nostro tempo libero. I, on the other hand, am going to continue on as I always have done. I've got quite a few makeup bookings this summer. If you've recently joined her, you might not even know that I'm actually a professional makeup artist. I have been for about 26 years now, and the last couple of years, obviously due to COVID, there's hardly been any weddings here. It started to pick up this summer, though, if everything goes smoothly, and I've got about 30 bookings mostly in Positano. I'm tending to concentrate more in Positano, whereas before I would work all along the Amalfi Coast, Ravello Amalfi, Sorrento, and now I've decided I'm concentrating mainly on Positano. Just because of the traffic situation in the summer, um, it's not worth my while spending three, three and a half hours just to get to work and back for a couple of people. So um, I'm gonna be mainly concentrating in this area here. Um, I will be making videos as well. When I can take you to work with me, I will, so you can see the villas and the hotels that I work in, if that's possible. We're not going to become travel vloggers. I think with us going away to England for 35 days, people were starting to worry that we'd become 
travel vloggers but no that was me going home to visit my father as I do every two years and I deserve a break and I deserve to be with my family so I'm gonna do that every two years and every now and again of course we'll have our four day trip to Iskia in the summer and a couple of little trips away but nothing major we're not gonna buy a camper van or anything like that it's hard enough to park a car in Positano let alone a camper van no non siamo Sara e Luca no <laughs> no it's definitely not us um, if we want a camper van we've already made a deal we will borrow Sara and Luca's camper van and they can come and stay in our house in Positano if they want to and we'll do an exchange with them <laughs> which might be a bit hard with a baby on the way not mine this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just, let's get that clear. C'era qualcosa che non mi hai detto? No, 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 no. Um, so everything will carry on as it always has. Volevo dire il fatto delle definizioni, se siamo vlogger di viaggio, non siamo vlogger di viaggio o altre cose. Noi semplicemente vi facciamo vedere quello che facciamo, cioè non tutte le cose, vi facciamo vedere le cose carine che si possono vedere ve le facciamo vedere. Poi siamo vlogger di viaggio, non siamo vlogger di viaggio, siamo youtuber, non siamo youtuber. Sem I don't feel like I'm any of that. Non eh. mi sento chiesto niente di quello. No, nemmeno io, infatti semplicemente vi facciamo vedere quello che facciamo. Vi mm. piace, lo continuiamo a fare. Non vi piace più, se c'è qualcuno che ci guarderà, noi continuiamo. Se nessuno ci guarda più, noi smettiamo. Yeah. Chiaro? Yeah. Oh, also, what I wanted to mention was that I am also doing a... Um, blog again. I used to be a blogger way back in 2006 onwards. Some of you actually remember that, which is quite scary because that's 16 years ago. But um, I was missing my blog, so I decided to resurrect, resurrect it and I'm going to be doing that on Patreon. So I'm going to start using my Patreon account as a blog. So um, there'll be weekly blog posts, sometimes maybe more, sometimes maybe less, but there'll be definitely a lot more happening on Patreon in the future. I'm putting together also a book which is going to be full of recipes, lots of short stories and lots and lots of lovely photos. Uh, I've been working on that for a few months now. I wanted it to be out by Christmas but then I decided I could make it better so I've held off and I'm adding a lot more to it. Um, and the other thing I'm doing is, oh the book that I wrote, the fiction book that I wrote is currently being um, made into an ebook. so hopefully that will be available at some point soon. So that's all keeping me very, very busy anyway. Sì. Non c'è tempo nemmeno per me adesso. No, there's just no time for anything. <laughs> no days off, no time off at all. Um, sì, ogni tanto devo andare people sulla... People keep asking me if I've watched Emily in Paris. Who's got time for watching TV? I don't. I don't even know how to turn the TV on, but I literally don't have time for that at all. Yeah. Ogni tanto vado sulla sua agenda e scrivo Questa giornata è per Carlo. <laughs> Altrimenti va a finire che non c'è tempo per me. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, we're going to carry on with our walk. <laughs> See ya. Ciao. Ma guarda come dormono con l'angioletto che sto qua. Vieni! Non ti stanchi a rivedere così adesso? Sì, è un po' freddo! Sì, sto aspettando a mamma! Si dà un gatteggio per me! Sì, aspetta a mamma!